Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Madden 16 is back on my channel. I know a lot of y'all been waiting, man. I'm so sorry for the wait. I've been very busy. I've been traveling. I've been playing 2K. I've been playing Destiny. But we back to this Madden wave. Y'all ready? Yo, check it out. Before we hop into this video, I just wanted to give a big shout out to Top Tuttle. Hey, make sure you download that app with the first link inside the description. It's a dope little fantasy app where you can collect cards. I had a lot of fun, man. I even made a video on it. That link will be in the description as well, as well as an annotation on this video. You want to go check it out? Watch me open up some packs, man. Spend some money on that. First pack at opening of the year. But, yo, I'm going up against the Dolphins at home. It's about to go down. They, they, it's about to go down. Look, look at my lineup for the upcoming schedule. Everybody going to get this work, B. We going undefeated. All right. Just to let y'all know, what happened was... They effed up somewhere, and we caught this pick, and now we starting off here. So they want me to go ahead and get this touchdown, and the touchdown ain't going to be easy. The reason I waited to play Madden is because I knew that Madden had some things to fix, and I wanted them to fix that aggressive catching and, you know, the way some of these running backs actually run. So what I found out is DeMarco Murray, after this week's win, is a north-south type of guy, and he goes in for the touchdown. That's what I'm talking about, man. Look. In order to play Madden and to play this game, you have to use people to their play sets. Like, if you use DeMarco Murray in these little east-west type run plays, he's going to get sacked, he's going to lose yardage, and it's not going to look good, just like he does in the real NFL. Let's move on to the next play, man. Check it out. Drive goal, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to worry about this play action because, God damn it, I can pass. Now, Riley Cooper is getting a little bit better. His rating is going up, so, you know, I have to utilize him a little bit more. Now, right here, this little play set, they want me to throw a touchdown pass, but I'm going to go ahead and milk it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? This clock is my clock. This is my time. This is my field, and we're going to do what I want to do. So, right here, I'm just going to go ahead and milk this clock real quick. One second. Take the snap. Go ahead and give it to Murray. What I tell you about that north-south, baby? He gets the first down. Yo. DeMarco. Look, look at him celebrating. Look at him. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Moving down the field, we doing what we need to do, man. It's 7-3 currently, but I think I could change things here. Now, I have Ertz going to the end zone. Nice little play here. And I throw him the ball. He catches it, but we catch a flag as well. As he was catching the ball, we caught this flag in midair. And guess what? It's coming back. Touchdown, reneged. Drive goal, not completed. I'm so pissed off. Now, there's a little glitch at Madden right now, whereas though, if you're trying to do a drive goal and you get a flag during the touchdown, they don't give you your drive goal anymore. So, you know what I'm saying? The drive goal is not popping up on the screen no more, as you can see right here. And I'm just shit out of luck. Now, it's second and 20. I don't know what happened, but we're going to go ahead and change that second and 20. We're going to go ahead and change that, okay? Back in the red zone. Damn near at the goal line. It's time to turn up. Check out the pass one more time, man. Look at the accuracy right there. Now, I know it wasn't that much good spin on the ball, but the accuracy is what it's all about. Now, I'm only here to expose this defense. I don't know if y'all knew, but it's all about exposure, man. Now, remember when I told you guys about these flags? These flags are a burden, man. I'm just, just letting y'all know these flags are a burden. But I hit my man for the touchdown, man, and guess what? That flag that we caught, that pass that I threw, it didn't go in vain, man. We still got the touchdown. I just went to a different target. Riley Cooper, I thank you for your service. <laughs> thank you. Who needs Sam Bradford when you got David Ipock and caught on the, on the, on the goddamn field? Mr. Go for it on fourth is back. Come on. Is y'all ready? Now, right now, I got to go and target Aguilar two times. Now, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it on my own leisure. And I just hit Aguilar for some short yardage. But guess what? He fights for the first down. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? We, we got to go back. No huddle. Not going to stop the magic. You know what I'm saying? Got to make sure Aguilar stays on the field and make sure that I get him the ball one more time. Now, check this out. Make him hit this nice little slant real quick. And look at that. Open. Uh. Look at that. Did you see me thread the needle right there? I know y'all see me thread that needle. Come on. Don't act like I ain't nice out here. I'm just saying your boy is nice. 
I was currently third down. I got to make sure that I convert here on downs because I don't want to show y'all this going forward on fourth, man. So I decided to hit Darren Sproles up the middle wide open. What's up? He got the defense wide open. Now, what I will say is Darren Sproles has been a big help. Now, I don't know why. Maybe it's because, you know, Riley Cooper wanted to be on the other side of the field. But Darren Sproles has been open. He's much faster than a lot of these linebackers. And I've been utilizing him for, like, the entire drive. Now, we go with a little bit of play action here. And guess who's open? Darren Sproles, bruh. Darren Sproles, nice with it, man. But yo, I'm telling y'all, if y'all got Darren Sproles on your squad, if you get, a, if you get like, a... A mutt card or something like that. Utilize this man with the passing game. Check this out. Another play action. Darren Sproles open once again. And look at the way he sits on the ball right there, man. That's what you call receiving at its best. I'm going to let y'all go ahead and watch this replay, man. He sat on the ball. Made sure he didn't drop it. Made sure he didn't get a turnover. None of that. Just look at the way he sits on the ball. Look at this. Uh, catch and sit down. Make sure that it's caught. Make sure the touchdown is valid. Now we're in the fourth quarter. Yeah, we, we skipped a lot in the third. Nothing really happened besides they got another three points and I got sacked a lot of times. But this pass right here could have got picked off. Oh yeah, could have got picked off. But your boy has class. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm not going to throw no interceptions this game. And I'm not going to go for it on fourth here. I decided to go ahead and kick the field goal because, hey, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, man. Now, when I told y'all about that field goal, I didn't say he made it. I, I didn't say he made it. We still having problems at the kicker position, man. I don't know what's going on, man. Can't 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 hit these kicks. I don't I don't know. I don't know what to say. I truly don't know what to say. Shame on him. Now, I truly don't know what we're going to do at the kicker position. Now, I don't know if I can control, like, trades or anything like that to get a better kicker. But what I do know is the Dolphins actually tried to make this a game on this next drive. They actually decided to come out and score seven points. I was totally shocked when I got back in the game. I went down, hit some player turn, and truthfully, when it said 13 to 21, I said, oh, we got a game. I said, oh, so what y'all what y'all going to try to give me a pick six and, you know, kick a little onside kick? Hell to the nizzle. I'm about to drive downfield, get this seven points, do whatever I need to do, burn the clock out, whatever. I'm going to try anything I can. But right now, we go with another little play action pay. And guess what? Ertz is my man. Ertz is like the man you can count on in any situation. Ertz will always be there. Like, Ertz really be on the sideline like, I'll be there. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have tried to sing. I'm sorry. You're right. But we got a nice little block here. You know what I'm saying? Blocking game is looking good. What I tell y'all about that man Ertz, man. That man Ertz is nice with it. Believe in him. Depend on him. He's greatness. And guess what? Miami are using their timeouts just like I intended. And look at this, me and Chip Kelly going ahead and uh, bond a little bit on the sideline, get our game plan together. Now, the time really hasn't went by, but we are driving down the field. I decided, you know, to make it down to the red zone just to spit in their face with a few more first downs than my boy DeMarco Murray. Mm. Look at that. Get that man the ball. Let him work. Just let him work. Come on. Now... What I can tell you guys is, right now, at this point, in this juncture, I am thinking of a master plan. I'm not a rapper. I'm thinking of a master plan. If I go in, burn some time off the clock, we might be able to kick this field goal in, in this game. But the like the 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 player inside me, the Mister Go for it on fourth, wants to go for the end zone, and guess what? Guess what happens? A flag brings it all the way back. A flag brings it all the way back. I done did the dolphin dive and everything. I didn't. I tried to even look sexy out here on the field, and they brung that back. And also, just to let you know, I got sacked a bunch of times. Oh, I didn't get sacked like once or twice. I got sacked a bunch of times. They put the pressure on my ass, and I decided to go ahead and let the kicker do what he do and see if he makes this or misses this. But I just want to thank everybody for watching. This is it. This is like the last play.
For me, that is. And guess what? He wanted to hit it right down the center now. 41 yards. He wanted to hit it right down the center. So you mean to tell me, what was that, about another 12, 13 yards? You couldn't you can hit that? That what you saying? You ass, bro. You straight ass. We're moving on to the end of the match. Huh. <sighs> I did my thing, man. 225 yards. My passing rating was out of the world. Look, I'm trying to figure out why Tannehill didn't have a passing rating like mine. But then I realized my man was out here throwing interceptions. Disrespectful. You can't be out here throwing these NOs like that, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. What's wrong with you? You can't be out here throwing these NOs. It's all about the NOs. That's what the passing rating is all about. That's what defines the greats and the mediocre average Joe niggas. Like, you trying to be an average Joe nigga? Or you trying to be like me, one of the greatest to ever do this? I'm just saying. But uh, checking out the Russian game, it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. But I just want to thank everybody for watching once again. Make sure you like this video, add it to a playlist, tell your friends about it, leave a comment, do whatever you need to do. And hey, y'all little beast, thanks for this damn crazy beat, boy. Woo!